Alrighty, hey there guys, uh, this is Dusk Marksman again, making another video for Area 51 after the last video I made about patching uh, the game to get it running on modern Windows 10 and 11 systems. Uh, I had a request for the controller support add-on as well. Um, I will briefly say, please pardon any background noise, I have got uh, parrots, so. <laughs> uh, so let's scroll down, we are on Lucas's, uh, Mr. Lucas's preservation uh, website, which is linked in the uh, original video I did. This is where we download uh, the game, the updates, and then the wrappers. Uh, today we will strictly be focusing on the controller support, uh, which at first was a little odd, but uh, once I got in game and was messing with it, it's it's relatively simple to figure out. So go ahead and open that in a new window. Uh, you've got all of your files. Go ahead and download. I've already got this downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Whatever you use 7-zip WinRAR to uh, unzip files, uh, go ahead and unzip. Uh, there is a README. I would recommend going over it. It's got uh, all the information, the, the add-on that they use for it. Um, it does preface that tries to set it up as close to the original Xbox and PS2 uh, controls as they can. And then they've got a chart, a button mapping chart to show you uh, controller-wise and keybind-wise what it looks like. Uh, go ahead and close that out, and as we did before, go ahead and select all the files. Uh, you don't really need the README, uh, and then drag them over to your Area 51 folder. Go ahead, it'll ask you to replace the files. Go ahead and click Yes, and that is all good on that front. So I will give this a go to see if I can get this game recording, uh, see if I don't have any more issues to show you what it looks like in-game. All right, we are back uh, after a little bit of headbanging against the wall. Um, managed to get both Marillus and Area 51 going. So, as you can see, I uh, am using a, a thumbstick for this. Uh, right now, I'm currently using an off-brand PlayStation 4 controller that I bought for the misses, just to show this. Um, if you want to change your keybinds, go ahead and go to... Uh, manage profiles go to your profile and then controls uh, the reason I wanted to show this once you go to key mappings is it's still all in keyboard key binds right um, that's how the game's coded uh, unfortunately it did not come with integral uh, controller support so for instance primary fire I believe is the button so or uh, I'm sorry your right bumper uh, so as you see, even with right bumper, secondary fire is right trigger. Uh, they still bind. It, it, it shows it binding to uh, mouse and keyboard. Uh, so like jump, for instance, is left bumper for the PlayStation 4. Still shows space. It's going to do that. Uh, I promise you once you get in game, it will actually work. Uh, your controller will work. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm navigating the menus with a controller right now. Uh, sparingly anyway because I am not handy with uh, with controllers but there you go uh, you know select your campaign your profile all that and uh, you are good to run with the controller thanks for watching guys